feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend Hey fams, welcome back to my channel. So today I am taking part in a collaboration called The Hop and it is hosted and created by Heidi Sambal from Happily Thriving Heidi. She is absolutely incredible and amazing. I love her channel. She does a lot of DIYs, crafts, home renovations, in-home decorating. She is so inspiring and just has a heart of gold and a heart of God. I absolutely love her. So there are some friends that's going to be taking part in this hop and I would love for you to check down in the description box below for the next friend that is going to be participating in this hop. Also, if you have a YouTube channel and you would like to participate in the Friend Friday Hop, I would love for you to go ahead and email Heidi Sambo. Her email will be down in the description box below. I would love for you guys to stay tuned to see what I created in this DIY hop. And yeah, let's get started. Okay fams, so my first DIY is going to be a spring banner. And I've already cut out some um, one and a half foot strips uh, from a burlap ribbon that I purchased from Walmart for $4.98. And then I am just gonna go ahead and write out the word spring on each um, strip. So a letter on each strip. And I am using an alkali paint it has no fumes zero VOCs and I it I purchased it from Home Depot and it's actually used on furniture but um, I didn't have any craft paint so I figured this would be the next best thing and I just love how my creative create creative juices <laughs> Um, was just running wild. I was really trying to get this done in time. Um, I was basically doing this at nine o'clock at night. Um, my kiddos were so sick and we had ample time to get this done, but I just was extremely busy. My kids were sick. I had tons of renovations and other videos that I had a deadline for. So I am super excited about this video because it was so much fun to create. I haven't done these DIYs in a long time and Heidi Sambo has just inspired my creativity to redo DIYs and um, incorporate them in my channel and also some of you guys have been asking for it as well so I am definitely going to be bringing DIY Tuesdays back but um, for this video I am going to be doing four different DIYs and this is my first one and I love the way that it turned out you guys it is so cute Okay, so now I'm taking some burlap yarn um, and I am going to be placing it on my <laughs> my water filter um, just to kind of hold it so that I can go ahead and attach each strip to um, the cord itself to create that banner. And it wasn't difficult at all. I basically, within the crease, just um, use my glue gun and place some glue um, in between and just attached it to the cord. Now, these strips, fabric strips that I am using, um, and you're gonna see me basically go through some trial and errors here, and then I completely changed my mind. Um, but these strips that I'm using, it actually came from a yard of fabric that I purchased from Walmart and it was $3.98. So I just went ahead and cut those up in strips and you'll see um, in the next project what I decided to do with these strips. I just completely changed my mind. That's the, the mind of a DIYer. You kind of go through the you know the process of trial and error and then you finally figure out exactly what you wanted to do.
this is the end result of this DIY. I love the way that it turned out. So now here I am going to be making a garland. Um, it's my first attempt. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to turn out, but um, it, it definitely was an easy project. Um, in my mind, the way that I've seen it is actually, it came out better than how I saw it in my head and that tends to happen sometimes so I'm just going to go ahead and take those fabric strips and tie them on the garland itself um, I'm just really making knots in the garland itself um, and I'm going to be doing four pieces of strips about a hand length away um, and as you can see exactly what I'm talking about guys this turned out so great and I'm actually thinking about um, doing this every season instead of going out and purchasing new garlands I am just going to let my creativity run wild and create my own seasonal garland and I just gotta say Heidi thank you so much I mean that from the bottom of my heart because you have really sparked my creativity with my DIYs and you know from watching her videos and her channel she is super creative you guys and I'm telling you you are going to absolutely love her channel be sure to go ahead and subscribe to her channel because you will gain so many insights and your creativity and imagination will just run wild. So I am loving the way that this garland is turning out and it hardly cost me anything. All four DIYs hardly cost me anything. Um, two of my DIYs actually were free. So in total, this all four DIY projects actually cost me under $10 and I just I am loving that because I did not splurge I was budget friendly and it just goes to show that you can have a budget and create something spectacular Okay guys, so for my next DIY project, I am going to be making a spring wreath. And I had some greenery just laying around the house and I have um, some hydrangeas just laying around my house as well and I have this wreath that was just laying around my house. I'm telling you, I have tons of stuff just laying around. Um, and I just basically went ahead and was just sticking the um, greeneries in this wreath and um, and also the hydrangeas. It's going to be on my front door outside so I wanted to make sure that it was well secured. So I am using the yarn um, to attach these greenery and also the hydrangeas to and just to make sure that it's tight and it's secure and that when the wind blows that it will not blow my greenery or my flowers out of the wreath itself so my color schemes that you see here is yellow and greens and whites um, and natural neutral tones so i i love the way that this project turned out you guys i just i think it's gorgeous it's beautiful Nothing's gonna save us from our doubts Nothing's gonna make us spell it out I don't wanna be the one to say to I told you so And even if the sky was falling down You never noticed anyone around I don't wanna be the one to say to I told you so But I told you
Oh, I am so in love with this wreath. Oh my gosh, so in love with it. So on the burlap, I am going to be writing the word spring on it. Um, and I will show you what that looks like. It just looks absolutely stunning. I love the way that this turned out. <laughs> I can't wait to hang it on my front door. So for my next project, I am going to be doing a centerpiece hanging basket to put to my wall. I actually did this already with one of my baskets and I love the way that it turned out. And I am going to be adding a second basket. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and how it's going to look when it's all done. Okay, you guys, so be sure to just leave a comment down below and let me know which project is your absolute favorite favorite, and uh, if you are even thinking about recreating any of these projects. This was such, oh my gosh, just so much fun. I had a blast creating these um, DIY projects. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to go ahead and do so. Hit that bell for new notifications and double tap it so you receive all my notifications. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with your social media networks. It would just, just be so awesome and it means a lot to me. It helps my channel. And don't forget to go ahead and visit Heidi's channel link. It will be down in the description box. You are going to love her content. And don't forget about the friends hop to visit the link that's going to be in the description box below to check out the next friend that is going to be taking part in this hop. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hard to predict, you shouldn't